Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jay the Real, and I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone for a long time. You probably have seen me on social media. I have been on the YouTube streets, but I just haven't been on the YouTube streets actually recording and things like that. I've just been paying attention, commenting on certain people's videos and watching people, you know, still supporting, still showing, you know, that supportive attribute because before I was a YouTube creator, I was a, sub a subscriber. So pretty much then I know you probably like, what is going on? Where have you been? One, I've moved from another location to my green screen and stuff. I still have not even get, gotten settled into my room. As you can see, there's no pictures up or anything like that. So, having um, really dating decorations um, regarding my room. And as far as production-wise, I'm getting ready to do new intros, getting ready to do new shooting, and a lot of the things I've picked up and learned as far as production-wise. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of those things um, in a couple of weeks um, trying to get those days. I'm also working on other businesses as far as my photography, J and Connection, and my other business, me being a personal barber, so that's zero cut. So a lot of things is going on with those actually getting um location uh, getting a location, um to go ahead and get those done and actually in those regards I'm gonna be putting up getting a, another green screen set for photography and I also have my green screen set was to actually stay in personal and a lot and actually a lot of times I'm actually going to be in studio and an actual studio doing my reviews and things like that so um stay tuned um there'll be a lot of great things coming you guys' way but I just don't want to put out any content I actually really didn't even do this video because I didn't have my intro together or didn't have an intro period or I didn't even have a the background my new background that I wanted and things like that. So, a lot of great things. I'm um, getting new camera equipment and all those. So, a lot of great new things coming you guys' way. So, i kind of been out getting those things prepared. So, when I really jump back into this YouTube, YouTube streets, I'm coming head strong and things like that. But let's get into this video. I'll come back, you know, with those things. I've already spent two minutes and seven seconds on that and definitely didn't want to. But, I'm back. And if you guys don't know, to all my new subscribers, I am Jay Darrell. Uh, do reviews, recaps, vlogs, reactions, all those things. Sometimes I might come in with a random video. It's like that. Uh, but if you don't know me, don't know what this uh, YouTube channel holds, there's a video that I put up, I think, two or three months ago that you can go back and look. Or you can just check out your own content, okay? But I'm back in these YouTube streets and I'm coming head strong, okay? Head strong. But we are here. I just wanted to come in because I've been paying attention. I know I haven't been. I said I was going to do growing up in hip hop. I've been looking at that and it's been. I'm, I just want to keep my composure and keep everything professional as far as all the new YouTube um, restrictions and um, settings and regarding I definitely do understand regarding to that I definitely want to keep my coin and keep everything on up and up and keep everything professional especially when advertisers are being advertised on my video I definitely don't want to provide a lot of vulgar language in those regards but it's like growing up hip hop Regine is like I, 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 I don't I don't get it I don't understand. I, I, it seems like it's just too much for me. It's just, it's like I cannot watch her and not say anything or try not to go in on her. It's like that's extremely hard for me. So it's like, I, I, uh, I, I'm like. Okay, maybe I might come in and do a full review. I may come in and just do an overall review. I, I, I. I but yeah, but in no regard, I've been watching growing up, growing up hip hop Atlanta. I also been watching up in hip hop Atlanta and you know the reunion and things like that. And I've been paying attention to what a lot of things that's been going on surrounding Jocelyn quitting and the whole Rashida Kirk Jasmine Logan with the whole baby scandal and Kirk cheating. As I said before, I, um, I spoke to a couple of representatives, you know, in the shade room and things like that. So it was like, mm. but it seems like. Certain people really get it, and some people just really just be so invested in the show. And they seen Kirk turning up on last week's episode, and they seen Rashida crying on the re on the re um the, the reunion part one. It's like <laughs> one thing. What one thing I can say about the Frost is they are one couple. They are one castmate or castmates that definitely know how to properly secure the bag. It's, and Mimi is another character. They know how to properly secure 
a bag. Whether you recognize that it's fake or not, or whether you think they are pulling for a storyline, they know how to secure a bag and know how to secure a lasting, not overdrawn, but a well lasting that will make you literally tune in every week in reunion to see what's really going on. They know how to secure, secure a bag and they definitely know how to secure a story line do you hear me a storyline and th that's why i love the frost because they know they know how to do it they know how to keep us entertained whether we think it's bull whether we think it you know whatever wh whatever we think they know how to secure a storyline but let's get into their storyline and then i'm going to go ahead and get into the whole jostling thing so based upon this storyline we see that kirk and rashida are back on the whole team you know uh years back before benzino um quit you know the whole tub fiasco with um, Kirk sleeping and going to a private room with strippers. And one thing in Atlanta, we see that Kirk loved the strippers and we see that the cast, you know, I mean, that's Atlanta. Atlanta is like the strip capital. It's like, that's the party capital. You know, that's where everything go down. So, strippers, mm, okay. You can tell that the storyline was basically really long. Thought I didn't have business meeting with production. They didn't have meetings with people they have been surrounded with and things like that. This, this is the part you're going to play. This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to say. This is how you're going to portray. This is how you're going to reveal this. And this is how we're going to react to what's really going on. Even with the whole pregnancy and things like that, it's like really like you can tell it was one thing I can say. Even though I can see through the BS that I've been watching this a long time, and I also do a little underlining, you know, scooping and you know things like that. And I kind of look past and deeper into a lot of things. You can tell that it's well thought out. I mean, people really be online under the shade room and be really invest like. Oh my god, I can't believe Kirk would do her like that. I can't believe Rashida's still staying with him. You know, she's weak, she's this, she's that. Kirk is this, he keep cheating, he don't care, he don't respect. Let me tell you something. Let, let me tell you something. We have, I, and as I stated before, like I was telling someone else, we, I understand that six years prior to their marriage, they've been together, they've been friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, and then I think you have 12 plus years of marriage. Business. Uh, partnership, contracts, I mean, money here and there, management, I mean, just businesses. So, at the end of the day, one thing a man realizes, whether he goes out and cheat or whether he goes out and does this, whether he just a dog or whether he just don't realize what he has at home. One thing a man would never, one thing a man realizes, he knows what he has at home and he knows that he's not going to, he's not wanting to mess that up. And... You got 12, 12 years invested in a marriage. You got a bad, I mean, it's, I mean, Rashida ain't no ugly chick. I mean, the girl know how to dress, she's fashion. It's never, I never seen Rashida in a hit or miss outfit or a hit or miss wig or hit or miss, I mean, nothing. Even, let's, even in this reunion, you can tell that they're, they're still mingling together because even while they're going through their heartache and pain, these fools are dressed alike. Do you hear me? They're dressed alike. I mean, they kill it every season. It's never a season I just sit over shit and, nah. You know, maybe first season, the first reunion, because, I mean, that you're getting into consistent money. You just get, So you're getting it fast, so you don't really have boutiques and things like that that you can go in and say, hey, I'm going to wear this for you and number, return it back. You know, you don't have that. But, but let's get into a lot of the team. Logan. I think that's the dude's name, Logan. Um... I, um, on Snapchat, you know, you're thinking, oh, you, if you're thinking it's real. But Kirk and Rashida, first of all, was promoting on a business deal, promoting, um, doing promotion in the club, you know, on Snapchat. And first of all, they were together. Rashida was on Kirk's Snapchat, and Kirk was on Rashida's Snapchat. And I'm looking and just scrolling Snapchat because it's basically really on the only celebrities that I really just follow because I actually kind of care about. But a lot of times during their storyline, you would get a lot of the tea. So, if you're not following social media or you're not looking at tweets or if you're in Atlanta not really just paying attention, then you can look at VH1 every month, every um, Monday at 7 o'clock and look at 30 seconds to a minute of their scene and just believe everything. But And I look into the BS. I mean, from the blogs to the things, I, I look, I pay attention. So, I know this is um, very orchestrated and at the end of the day, this is entertainment. This is not only a reality TV, but this is entertainment. You have to keep the viewers entertained. 
every week, every Monday, until the last part of the reunion, until the camera shut off. But they were partying and promoting, and it was at the club. I forgot. I don't know if it was in South Carolina or Carolina or whatever. But guess who pops up? The estranged stalker of Jasmine partying with Kirk and Rashida. And it's been numerous reports that uh, they were doing this and they were paying this amount of, much amount of money and Kirk is doing this and Kirk is doing that. First of all, court documents prove that they have not really been in court since, what, 5 19 of 2017? And we're in July. I think this is July 5th. Or this is July 5th. We are in what? I think Wednesday. This is July 5th. They ain't been in court since May. There's no court document that's been produced since May. Only thing that that you would see was when um, Logan took his paternity test and it proved that he wasn't he wasn't a baby's father. So it puts the arrow in the bull's eye on Kirk. So it puts the pressure on Kirk. And still in the reunion, it still did not prove that Kirk was that child's father. So all the reports, oh, that's Kirk's, uh, Kirk's baby, and this is and that, and Rashida's do. First of all, these are very good actors. Very good actors. When you say entertainment, this is entertainment. Entertainment to the fullest. They're doing it. Kirk and Rashida ain't, ain't, been, a report, ain't been a court document since May 19th of 2017. Uh, when hair from Jasmine's uh, until this disc record, which they're just pumping it up, and I don't know why she's still in the media. Because first of all, the season is over, the reunion has been shot, and third of all, and third of all, uh, the three uh, uh, Jasmine and her girlfriend, and then old dude, they weren't even invited. They didn't even get invitations to fly to New York for the for the reunion. So only thing we're gonna get from this scene, as far is basically Kirk and Rashida. And supposedly they're supposed to release some um, verdict about the child's father, but no, they never read the verdict. And the court dark document stating that Kirk is or not the father was not even read at the reunion. All we know is Logan was not the father. That's all we know. So all we're going to get from that scene is uh, Kirk putting his head down in the emotion, and then we're going to get the segment with R Rashida crying. And all we know is that she signed the documents for the separation, but they're not separated. There's no, there's no separation and there's no divorce. You have to keep in mind, this is a 12-year invested relationship. Kids raised, grandchildren involved. Like I said before, the Frost know. The Frost and the Frost knows how to secure a bag and a storyline and keep you invested every day. Season, every season. So if y'all sitting here believing the storyline about Kirk doing this and Kirk and then yes, Kirk do, go to strip club. But at the end of the day, nobody's going to have a um, a chick, a wife like Rashida, who's going to hold you down, who's going to keep forgiving you, who got kids, money, businesses, houses, properties. You think you think he, a peep, somebody's going to give all of that up? For that, nah, nah. Look at Jasmine, look at Rashida. Even going back to the uh, tub stuff, look at the chicks you were with and look who you got at home. Please, okay, please. Nah, it, it's, it's no way. So, y'all can start believing that that's that's the tea behind it this is orchestrated this is entertainment no court no no court documents since may may 19 of 2017 no paternity uh paternity i mean none of that was revealed all we're gonna get is the aftermath for how rashida dealt with it what was going through her mind and then the emotion i mean anybody can get on stage and think of what their life would be like if their husband really did cheat and then begin to cry and especially when you're putting the church and you're doing this. I mean, look at it. Look at it. And then even look at the explosion when he got mad at um, the mother and got mad at production. I mean, just, just pay attention and look at the aftermath of it all. Look at the aftermath. I mean, you can just pay attention. You can, you can look. 
Cause I don't, a lot of I, a lot of y'all really need to pay attention to when they do those or outbursts and you see productions there and productions that's all this stuff all this stuff is orchestrated. They have to plan scenes, they have to be there on time, hair and makeup, all of that stuff. So it's just not like oh they're gonna pop up here and we're just gonna do this. This sh scene has to be shot, edited. They have to talk to producers, and sometimes producers orchestrate things of this nature or things over there. And we're gonna slide in. I want you to slide in this conversation here. A lot of times without the other cast knowing, and then there you go, just to get a reaction. And even in the last week's episode, Miss Charlene was that reaction to get that reaction out of Kurt. But then he's like, I'm tired of you. I start missing up my family. Okay, but you're the one who's orchestrating these scenes. You're the one who's having people believe in this who really don't pay attention and look, you know, detailly in, um, who look look or pay attention to details in certain storylines or certain life shifts. Because after what I what you have to pay attention to is not what is being shown on VH1, Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta or New York or Hollywood every week. You gotta look at the social medias, you gotta look at the Twitters, you gotta look at the photo shoots, you gotta look at the life after the cameras are shut down. Why you have the hip hops and you, I mean, why you have the Hollywoods and the New Yorks on, you gotta pay attention to what's after. Cause now, after the show is done, then you're not gonna hear from them. You're gonna see them pop up on social media promoting parties, or promoting waist trainers, or promoting flat tummy tees and doing all of that. Because, you know, the show is still on, so they still gotta get their money, still gotta do that. But after, while they're shooting, you're not going to hear from them until after the scenes are done and they're just doing green screens. Then you're going to see the pop-ups here. You're going to see the blog post here. You're going to do all that. So, I mean, that's that's basically what it is. So you got to pay attention to the aftermath. And that's what all the tea is. Like I said before, the Frost know exactly how to secure a bag in this storyline. I can't wait to what they got, what they're going to pull up. They probably gonna be they probably next um years, uh storyline probably gonna be the aftermath of them not probably gonna be quote unquote separated quote unquote divorce and life after that or life getting back together or let's say even if they even if they didn't they probably gonna try to orchestrate and see if um probably make the baby be Kurtz and see how Rashida copes with it and life with my husband cheating on me and now a baby you know you, you never know like you got pay attention. Pitching. But this is all I got. We already 17 minutes in and definitely I got to get to Jocelyn. So this has been my take on the Kirk and Rashida whole fiasco and the reunion. Remember, the reunion show um, shows next week, Monday. So stay tuned. I'll be back with the recap for the reunion. This is your boy, Jay Durrell. Peace.